Hey, it's Nathan Williams with Crazy Eye Marketing, and in this video, I'm gonna show you how I cr create quotes for sales funnel services for clients. Now, this is the way that I do it. There's many ways you could go ahead and quote these types of services. You could do it based off of value provided, or you could do it based off of a percentage of sales, or like how I do it, I do it like a fixed fee. And so I'm gonna show you how I kind of map that out and price things out, and hopefully this is helpful if you're looking to give quotes to clients for sales funnel services. And this could work for other services as well, but I'm gonna relate it to sales funnels. So first things first, I use two different tools to develop my quotes. The first tool is draw.io, and I, it's a, a flowchart tool, and I use it to map out the sales funnel so I could show the client like, hey, this is what I'm going to build for you. So you can see what it looks like, how it's gonna flow, how it's gonna work, things of that nature. And then I use a Google Sheet to kind of break down the different tasks it's gonna take to build the funnel that I draw on the previous uh, slide or with the draw.io tool. All right, so first things first, I go ahead and map out the funnel. And of course, I wanna do a consultation with the client first, maybe a couple consultations, understand their business, and kind of have a, a plan for this funnel, right? So that's, I pretend like I did that. I've spoken with the client and I know what the funnel's gonna look like, so I'm gonna map it out. And so I'll go to flowchart down here to find the flowchart forms and then go ahead and map it out. So we've got our starting point over here. And then let's say we bring it up to a page. We'll call this a squeeze page. And I might have some typos and stuff. I'm gonna go kind of quick here. Uh, now, if I was doing this for a client in real real life, I've, I'd of course cleaned it up, make sure all the lines are straight, make sure no typos or anything like that. But since I'm doing it for demonstration purposes, I'll go kind of quick here. So we've got a squeeze page, maybe we got a welcome and pre-sell page. Then we got a sales page slash order form. Then we got an OTO page. And we've got a OTO2 page. And let's get a down sell here. Down sell. And we've got a uh, order confirmation, confirmation, and then maybe we got a membership site as well. So we got membership, membership access, and membership, membership area. So we connect all these dots real quick. Boom, 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 boom. Boom, boom, boom. So we got all these pages as part of our funnel. Again, if I was doing this for clients, I'd go ahead and add some color here to like designate what each page means, things of that nature. Because you know, a lot of clients don't know this terminology. They don't know squeeze page or welcome and pre-sell or sales page slash order form. So you wanna go ahead and make sure that that is clear what the heck it is you're going to be building for these people. You can show them examples, things of that nature. But anyway, I map out like the funnel I'm gonna build. If I'm gonna do advertisements as well, I go ahead and do that like Facebook ads here. And then maybe we've got some, I don't know, let's grab this one right here. We're gonna do Facebook ads over here, Facebook ads. Not sure why the text is below, but you get the idea. Connect the dot there, Facebook ads. And uh, yeah, good enough. So we got, oh. So Facebook ads, Facebook ads. So we got some of that going on. Let's say we want some automation as well. So some emails come up here. Emails from, well, it comes from the squeeze page. Maybe I'll put this over here. Boom, emails, uh, sales, sales emails. So emails going on and maybe we got some emails going on if they they buy the product, right? So we got a couple couple email series, we got a couple ads and everything as well. So we'll set that up. Email or uh, sales confirmation. All right, cool. So this is kind of like the you know the blueprint of the funnel that we're gonna build for clients. So we got some Facebook ads, we got some emails, and then we got the whole pages and funnel that we're gonna build out for them. So then what I do is come over to my Google Sheet 
and I have basically four columns, tasks, hours, cost, details, and basically I'm gonna break down each step of the funnel into tasks, hours, and costs, right? So starting at the, we'll start at the pages first. So I'll do squeeze page. So tasks, squeeze, page. So that's like the big bold task. Let me try and make this bigger for you guys. Uh, let's see. There we go. So squeeze page. And uh, then what tasks are used to create this squeeze page. So I usually just do a, a dash there. Keep it nice and simple. Of course, you probably don't want to spend, you know, hours preparing this. Um, so, you know, just do, do what it takes to get a good quote. Okay. That's what we're doing here. So squeeze page. Uh, so we probably got some copy on that page, right? How long does the copy take on a squeeze page? Eh, you know, 10, 15 minutes probably. So we'll just say quarter of an hour, so 0.25. And then we'll come back to cost in a second here. So we got copy, maybe we got some, we got the design of the page. We got a design layout of the page, right? Maybe that takes, you know, half an hour. Um, and let's say, uh, in, in, integrations, right? We got to integrate it with the automation tool, make sure it all works out, integrate it with the, like a domain name, page pass, all that type of stuff. So we got, you know, some back end type work to do as well. So maybe that takes 15 minutes. So all told, it takes an hour. So we could go ahead and do a sum, add up all of our, our stuff here. And we got squeeze page is going to take one hour. And these are the, the subtasks, right? So then let's go on to the next page. Welcome and pre-sell. Welcome and pre-sell. And so we've got copy. So same same concept. Copy on this page. You know that that's usually pretty quick copy. And then we've got design layout. Uh, this one also pretty quick usually. So we'll do 50 and integration integration 0.25. Right, so this as well is about hours of work, give or take. Now maybe you have like copy and maybe you're you're willing to do video work as well, video work. Let's throw that in there. And you know, video could take, you know, that could take a while. So let's budget two hours for developing a video for people. So, and you, you might wanna make this like optional or something like that. like designate it you know give because you'll probably go line by line with your client your prospect and talk about you know what's what's going on on each of these different tasks and subtasks that you have outlined here so let's let's kind of pause right here and go through these two two elements these two uh, tasks so we'll just add some color here so we got squeeze page task and then we've got the welcome and pre-sell page task all right and then for your cost, you know, you can do, let's add that over here, hourly cost. And let's just, for simplicity's sake, say we charge $100 an hour. So then it's simple math, obviously, right? Is equal to this times whatever your hourly cost is. So cost $100 for your squeeze page total. And then you could break down the different tasks. So let's make it like that and then just run this on down there so we see oh we don't want to color that uh reset and reset all right cool makes sense right so about 100 bucks for the squeeze page 100 bu or 100 bucks for the cop welcome and pre-sell page unless they do the video work in which case it's three hours so we might say or 300 with the video work, right? Something like that. So that that brings up my details column then, of course. So details, page to collect contact information. Uh, so the copy for a squeeze page, headline, sub, headline, bullet points, maybe something like that. Design and layout color, or maybe structure, colors, typography, mobile friendly, etc. right? Integration, 
uh, with automation tool and pixels something like that right so you break down all the details of each task as well again this is just helpful to you to present to your client like hey this is what I'm gonna be doing on these pages this is how much time it takes to do that um, and that's how much it costs right so you kind of go through the entire funnel then onto the sales page now sales page and break it down so hopefully this is making some sense. I'm not going to do all these pages right here live in front of you because, you know, it'd take, you know, 30 minutes and I think you're getting the point here. But you just go down and you break down the different tasks it takes for to build out your funnel, right? And then the subtasks. So sales page, um, maybe we'd have a video. And then for this, we might have like video copy. Like we have subtasks video copy, um, filming, like maybe we're doing like a massive production on this video. Maybe that's one of our strengths is video production or maybe we're outsourcing it to somebody else and we need to make sure we have enough money to pay that person, right? So you wanna break it down to make sure that people, your clients understand what they're paying for, right? They wanna know like where, where their dollars are going. If you're like, hey, yeah, I'll just build your funnel, they're gonna be like, okay, well, I, don't, I don't know what that means or I'm not quite understanding like, where where these costs are coming from so you want to break down every, every task subtask sub subtask etc assign hours to it or if you don't want to use the word hours because sometimes you don't want to like give people your hourly rate maybe you could do like uh like points like a point system or credits credits it takes one credit to develop a squeeze page and a credit costs a hundred dollars so you could do like a credit-based system if you don't want to do hourly rates and things of that nature. So that's just another way to kind of phrase things. But again, the same principle applies. Break everything down, the task, subtask. Just follow along with the funnel diagram that you've drawn out. Um, go ahead and then let's say you mapped out all of your funnel pages and everything and how long that's going to take. Remember, you got copy, you got design, you got integration. Uh, you got all that type of stuff. So make sure you include all those different tasks and subtask in in the quote and then same thing with like Facebook ads like Facebook ads so we got initial initial campaign set up so you know maybe that's two hours or two credits in this case initial campaign set up pixel installation and testing now maybe that's an hour um, retargeting campaign you know that takes two hours or so in initial setup and <clears throat> plug in the math boom boom let's make this line out here so break down your your advertising break down your automation so you know automation we got, um, let's see, we got this sales email series. So five sales email series. And maybe it takes an hour per email or something like that, or maybe half an hour per email, 2.5 then. 2.5, boom, boom. And so on. So you just work your way down everything, right? Uh, I think you're getting the point here. And also don't forget to add in uh, like consultation, consultation hours. So, you know, four hours or something like that. So that way people know that you're gonna be there. You're gonna have like four calls throughout the building process. So that way you can touch base, make sure that everything's in line or corrections, things of that nature. And so basically you just map everything out, add it all up present it to your client, show them the funnel design, and then how your quote applies to your funnel structure, design, everything. And, you know, I mean, when people see this whole breakdown, they can they can see, they're like, okay, integration makes sense that you gotta connect it with my marketing automation tool. You gotta connect the pages together. You gotta connect the domain, the page paths, the pixels. You gotta connect all these products, or all these, all these things together. You need to set up products if you're, have products you know just show people what they're paying for and I mean people can understand this 
And it makes your job very easy when you're presenting this quote to be like, yeah, this is, this is what I'm gonna do. And hopefully you've built funnels before so you kind of have an idea of how long it takes you to do these certain tasks. Or if, you, if you're hiring freelancers, you know how much they cost to perform these certain tasks and you can just apply like their costs into this credit system, make sure that you have enough money to pay them and hopefully make yourself a little bit of a profit along the way, depending how you wanna do that, of course. So that is how I go ahead and essentially quote uh, sales funnel services for clients, just map it out and then assign tasks and points and dollar signs and details to the sales funnel diagram that I've drawn with my clients, right? So that's it. Hopefully this has been helpful so you can see how I do it at the very least. All right, thanks.